Hi, welcome to the latest episode of the Jordan Shoe Vault. Thanks for checking us out. We're glad that you're here. While you're here, we wanna make sure that you don't miss any of our episodes when they come. So would you take a minute, hit the red subscribe button so you never miss an episode of the Jordan Shoe Vault. Hey, today on this episode, I'm excited about the shoes we're gonna talk about. I've been waiting to do this one and, and I can't wait to talk to you about this, but think back with me to 1995. We've shared on this show where Michael Jordan has announced he's back in the NBA and he, he's wearing the Air Jordan 10. And here we are in the playoffs in 1995, semifinals I believe, against the Orlando Magic. Oh, he's wearing number 45. Michael Jordan comes out wearing a brand new Tinker Hatfield design shoe, the Air Jordan 11 Concords as they're known. I mean, it just threw everyone off. It didn't meet a uniform code. It was, everyone's wearing black shoes on the Bulls. He was wearing these white, black, different. Um, just an amazing shoe and it just blew up. Everyone loved these shoes. Um, it's my personal favorite of the Air Jordan line, the Air Jordan 11 Concords. And today, I'm gonna talk to you and compare the Air Jordan OG 11 Concords from 1995 and the newly released um, Air Jordan 11 Concords that are just they're coming out actually December 8th of this year. So I have a pair now. I'm excited to look at them and compare the retro versus the original. Um, so let's take a look. First of all, they are saying these shoes right here. This is the this is the box. The Air Jordan 11 um, retro Concord, uh, black white Concord. There you go. It's in a retro box. They're saying this is as grail as it gets. They refer to these as the grails that these are as close to the grails as you can come. Why do they say that? Well, I told you that Michael Jordan wore number 45 when he came back, and we're gonna see that there's some things on this retro pair that are different from the original. So let's take a look first at these brand new um, Air Jordan 11 Concords. I mean, my all-time favorite colorway, all-time favorite shoe, um, the Air Jordan 11. So there you go, Air Jordan, even a retro box, different from the other recently released Air Jordan 11 shoes. They came in a like a, a pull-out um, sliding box and had 23 on the top and all those different things. But you see this retro Air Jordan look, Nike Air on the back. Um, you see in these old boxes, let's take a look. Open these bad boys up, black tissue paper, and here you go. Wow, these look sweet. The Air Jordan 11 Concord, white black Concord. Um, just slick looking shoes. I mean, it's got the black patent leather, the clear sole with the Concord. It's got the air zoom, it's got the carbon plate from original, um, the white, and then the white leather back here. Um, Jordan Jumpman on the side. These are sweet. They're awesome. One of my favorite shoes. But what's cool about these that they talk about these as being um, as grail as they get retro as, as much as you can get to the original um, on some recent releases of the Air Jordan 11 some retro releases they cut the patent leather the black patent leather see that shiny it's awesome black patent leather on the sides and around they cut this a lot lower on the sides didn't have as much patent leather to change the look up but here we are back to the originals um, height of the patent leather on the toe box patent leather wrapping all the way around the shoe now here's where it gets different what they say it's original in 1995 michael jordan comes back playing in the semifinals against the orlando magic and he breaks out these shoes and he's wearing number 45 so if you look at the back of the shoe it has not number 23 but this retro release has number 45 because that's what he wore game one of this um, eastern conference semifinals against the Orlando Magic in 1995. That's the famous game where afterwards Nick Anderson makes a comment that 45 is not the same as 23. And so for game two, Michael Jordan comes out of the locker room wearing what? Number 23, gets fined again by the NBA, but he's wearing 23 from here on, there on out. Didn't wear 45 anymore. But the first time he wore the 11s in a game, they have 45 on the back. So this retro pair is coming out this December Here's an early release look at them. Um, has number 45 on the back. Really sharp. I would say that these look really, really good. Um, look really good as a retro. But here's the big test. Let's do this. Let's take this pair and let me pull out the original 1995 Air Jordan 11 
Concord, right? All right, so I don't have my original box anymore for my Congress. I know it's horrible. So here they are, original. Um, let me see if I write you. Here is the original Air Jordan 11 Concord. And as you can see, this is a pair of shoes that I've worn quite often. Here you go. Look at the original, the OG, with the 23 on the back, with the 45 on the back. Uh, you can see, take a look at the patent leather cut. Same. Uh, it's got the, you can see the clear soles. This one was. Uh, I've worn this a lot. It's kind of yellowed, but it's got the carbon plate, the Concord grip on it. Uh, one of the downsides of the 11s that happened were the creasing that would happen quite easily. But I'm telling you, I still really love these shoes. Let me take a look. Even after all these years, here are what, 23 years later, we're talking about these shoes again. And uh, here's the originals. Let's take a look, comparing them again. I'd say that the they did a good job. They brought back the right height of the patent leather on each side. As you can see here, patent leather's right on the side of Jumpman on the side. Uh, they look really good. These are size 12, these are size 12. Both size 12s inside the tongue. It says quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. Inside the retro, same tag inside. Um, it's even got the Nike Air branding you can't see inside, but in the, in the insole, original Nike Air branding. This one did have Nike Air branding, but I wore now. Played ball in these back in the day a lot. I liked playing in the 11s. Um, I just thought they looked really, really good. I remember even wearing these in college when I bought these um, to a formal, uh, these original toy, uh, 11s. They look good. It's a black patent leather. It looks really, really slick. So I would say that Dave Nike or Jordan Brands done a really good job at redoing. Here's the look from the heel. You can see after all these years, yeah, it has yellowed a little bit on the original, but here's my original pair of 11s that I've actually worn a lot. I wish I still had them in the box, dead stock, but um, I don't. But there they are. This is the retro version that you can get your hands on December 8th from your favorite retailer. They are retailing for $220. I believe in 1995, I paid $124, $125 for these when they first came out. 1995, $124, 2018, $220 for the Air Jordan 11. Awesome shoes. My all time favorite shoe. Um, they're also coming out at the beginning of December an Air Jordan 10. It's in the Orlando colorway which really goes back to the battle that Michael Jordan had with Nick Anderson, who was wearing the Air Jordan 10s um, in, those, in that playoff game that they played against each other. Amazing shoe. What are your thoughts on the Air Jordan 11 Concord? The OG version or the true OG version, they say, but in a retro model with the 45 on the back. We've never had the Concord with the 45 on the back like that. Um, I know they did the Space Jams with 45 on the back recently, but here they are. This is a retro of the first shoe he actually wore, the 11 with the 45 on the back. We all know it with the 23, much more known with that on the back. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think on these shoes. I, I really think um, that you want to get a, get a pair of these. Check your favorite retailers at the beginning of December. They're going to be out there. You're going to want to get your hands on these, this Air Jordan 11. Hey, I don't want to forget, but let me give a quick shout out to some of our Jordan Shoe Vault viewers, some of our people. Hey, Kaylee, thanks for watching. I told you I'd give you a shout out on the on the video. Make sure you give a big uh, thumbs up. Liam, thanks for watching again, buddy. Make sure you give us a big like down below. Everyone else, uh, Isaiah, thanks for watching. Hey, make sure you smash that like button. Tell me what you think of the Air Jordan 11. Hey, while you're here checking out our videos, make sure you watch some of our other um, videos that we've made. You don't want to miss why I talk about the Air Jordan 1 Rookie of the Year. Click right up here. As you watch this, you'll say, why is it that color? Hey, click the video, take a look. This is an Air Jordan 1 you wanna know more about. On this side, if you click over here, you wanna see about the ultimate gift of flight. You like the Air Jordan 11? Click right here, you'll see a, a unique colorway of the Air Jordan 11 and Air Jordan 29. Check out those videos while you're here. Thanks for watching.